Size of Simple Shapes Part 3 Today we will learn the correct way to measure shapes with the help of square shaped pieces. My cardboard is big. No Rayansh, my cardboard is much bigger. Hey, what happened Rayansh and Ayushman? What are you both arguing about? There is nothing to argue about. Ayushman has a small cardboard and I have a bigger one. No, Rayansh. How many times should I tell you that your method of measuring the cardboard is wrong? Show me. How have you both measured? Look, Neha. 36 pieces were required to cover my cardboard. Whereas 35 pieces were required to cover Ayushman's cardboard. This means that my piece of cardboard is bigger. Hey, Riyansh, Ayushman is right. You have incorrectly measured the cardboard. Why? What's wrong with it? Look, you have placed few pieces on top of each other. That is a wrong way to measure. So, you can't place the pieces on top of each other? Yes. The pieces should not be overlapped and there should be no gaps between them, like Ayushman has placed. That's how you will get the correct measurement. Okay, so what should I do now? Now, remove all these cards and measure again. This time, don't place the pieces on top of each other. Okay. Yes, now the pieces are placed correctly. Now you can tell the correct measurement. 32 pieces were required to cover my cardboard, whereas 35 pieces were required to cover Ayushman's cardboard. This means that my cardboard is small. Now, my craft work will be smaller. Hey, Jayansh, don't be disappointed. We will work on the craft together and make the biggest craft work in the whole class. But we don't have colored paper for such a big craft work. I have a very large colored paper. See this? It is very big indeed. How will we measure it? We don't have enough pieces. We don't even need a lot of pieces. We only require enough pieces to measure the two sides of this paper, Ayushman. I don't understand. I will explain. Just place these pieces on two sides of this paper. Till then, I will return these pieces which I took from Madam. Okay. Hey Ayushman, placing the pieces like this won't give you the exact measurement. They have to be placed on the top and side edges. What difference does that make? See, when you have to measure a shape with fewer pieces, then we multiply the number of pieces placed on two sides. Yes, there are pieces placed on two sides. Now we can multiply them. There are 10 pieces placed on the top edge and there are 10 pieces placed on the lower edge. When we multiply them, we get the answer 100. This answer is incorrect. To find out the correct answer, we have to place the pieces on the top and on the side. Okay, I will remove the pieces placed at the bottom and I will add pieces to the side. Yes, now this is correct. What difference does it make? It will make a difference. Now let's multiply the number of pieces placed on top by the number of pieces placed on the side. 10 pieces are placed on the top and 9 pieces are placed on the side. And multiplying these numbers will give us result 90. Look, it made a difference. First answer was coming to be 100 pieces. Now the answer coming 90 pieces. And this is the correct answer. So a total of 90 pieces will be required to cover this paper. Oh, now I get it. This method is much better. With this, any shape can be measured with fewer pieces. Yes, that's what I was saying. Today we learned that to measure a shape when we place the pieces on it, they are placed in such a way that there are no gaps between them and we have to keep in mind that the pieces are not placed on top of each other. 
and to accurately measure a shape it is important to cover the two sides of that shape the top and the side edge